Hi, my name is um, Russell Allison. Um, I just like to uh, tell a story about. I've been um, HIV positive for um, since 2000, 2002, um, approximately um, 14 years now, and um, I'm living a pretty healthy life and. Uh, I've never really been sick, and um, life has been pretty good. I'm taking one pill a day, um, a tripla. I mean, there are some side effects from it, but it's not um, its not very debilitating to me. I just keep busy, and um, I try to be positive in life. And, um, you know, I have a, a decent job. I get to travel, and um, also, I. You know, I want to tell a little story about my um, my boyfriend. Um, this is why I'm here. Um, his name is engraved in the um, circle of friends, um, and his name was um, inscribed in uh, 2014. Um, his name is um, Andrew Basada Ortiz. Uh, he was born in uh, Colombia and um, came to the in United States when he was around six years old. And um, Andrew and I were together for um, approximately three years, and um, he passed away on um, June 4th, uh, 2014. And I'm um, not really sure, but um, I think it was um, maybe a heart problem. He was also HIV positive, but. Um, he may have had a heart problem or a, a stroke or something like that, but we're not really sure. And um, I really, really, really miss him. You know, I think about him every day. He was uh, quite, quite the character. He was very funny and very loving, and uh, he was wonderful. And he spoke Spanish fluently, and. Uh, English fluently, <laughs> and uh, he was a nurse, and he was very busy. He was a nurse, and he was also a uh, flight attendant for American Airlines for like 26 years. And um, you know, it's really hard to lose somebody, especially the way he went. And we we didn't get to say goodbye to him. He passed away on his own by himself. And um, we just, we're just here to circle of friends in San Francisco because we love them so much and we miss them so much. And I'm with his family, Esperanza and Hernando and Mercy, his sister Yvette, his wonderful nephew, Lucas and my friend, my great friend, and a great friend of Andy's also, Robin Cavalier. And um, we're just honoring his memory because he meant so much to us and his presence in, in this world was extraordinary because uh, he, um, he really lit up the room and he really made people feel important. He... I, I just can't say enough about him. I'm, I was honored and blessed to have known him. And I'll never forget him. I'm wearing a ring that we bought in New York. And I'll probably never take it off. Um, I just wanted to say a few things about him, and his family is wonderful. What a loving family he has. They've taken me in, and they've been so wonderful to me. And I know they've had, it's been really hard for them, because it's, it must be terrible to lose a son, a brother, or, you know, cousin. His whole family has been, they've been very, 
he meant a lot to everyone he, he ever knew. And I love that about him. I'll never forget him. And I just want to read something before I'm done. It's from that movie, the movie The Rabbit Hole, and I thought it was a pretty neat thing. Um, it's just about grief and how to deal with it. And this says, uh, the grief never goes away, but it changes. The weight of it becomes bearable, and you can crawl out from under it. Grief is like a brick. You carry it around in your pocket. You forget it for a while, but then, for some reason, you reach in, and there, there it is. It can be awful, but not all the time. It's not like you, it's not that you like it, but it's what you've got instead of that person. And you carry it around. It doesn't go away. You carry it around, which is fine. Andrew, just want to say, Russ and your family will never forget you. You're very extraordinary, the most extraordinary person I ever know. And everybody that knew you, loved, and respected you. We love you. Okay. Bye.